career they have a show but the way they carry themselves which is what my point was the your the point beginning. is Erod carries himself like shit correct he's already sitting down and he's I'm already become road. exhausted <laughs> he's tiring he's, he's tired <laughs> you know fighting is hard who cares so he's got to take a nap Sky here's the point not everyone <laughs> does your spiel as you said uh, a few moments ago not everyone fucking has the same rap which is this shallow bullshit I don't know anything about Are you using urban terms to try to relate to me? Shallow fucking... <laughs> uh, here's what I just want to say to Sam and A-Rock. And you can understand one day you could work for this cocksuck. Because that's the way <laughs> fucking America works. Yes. That's what it gets to me. But if they get sales jobs. The problem is, like, I've been listening. Mm-hmm. And, like, he's talking about, like, his branding. He's trying to right. set up this brand. The problem is the brand that you've effectively set up for yourself today on public airwaves is of an asshole who comes into a situation with no knowledge, far too young to understand any of it, who thinks that he's got it all figured out, who's shitting on the most liked person on the ONA staff by the entire company outside of this small channel. Who would that be, Sam? Sam? That would be oh. Eric oh, okay. Nagel, <laughs> is the most well-received person on and, the ONA staff. And probably the most connected. And Absolutely. probably in terms of being able to say, hey, this is a good kid. Uh, give him a shot, or I don't like this kid. I guarantee you, Iraq knows more people in the business I than agree. I know, or Fez it's, knows. I don't understand if we're setting this up as fear mongering, like, okay, well, you're now you're blackballed. You're not no, going to at all. Who but, gives a shit? It's about come on. you. It was about I see, and the callers picked up on it on just my fear of not wanting to end up like that in, the, in a couple right. of years. Not taking a chance but, that you might fail. Who are you branding? I don't. Who are you branding yourself to? A corporate audience or a public audience? Because the public thinks you're an asshole. Not necessarily. Now, how do you, you know that? The because people agree with my perspective on you. It's all bullshit. Just sift past it. Be honest. As opposed to being like the behind the back, keep this closed up, guys. You have to step out there and say, listen, I think you're a douche. But it's been well, it's been established throughout this hour that you don't know what you're talking about because you don't know E-Rock and you don't you know made Dave. made up conversations. And you don't know me. me. Like, none of this is relevant. You don't know what you're talking about, but you think you're an expert. So the public thinks you're an asshole. Are you talking about public in terms of the this people hallway? listening? This hallway. No, no, no. We're actually on the radio. You know okay. what he's the public talking can hear. about. Correct. Right. So the public... Uh, and as far as this but company... we're talking about Iraq's connections within the company and what he can do, and I'm talking about how you hold yourself and how you stand but I'm and talking how you about walk around. How you are holding yourself right now is Correct. of somebody who is it's a phony. You're a shell. You have nothing that's backing up. Like You, you're, you talk fast, but as we've been talking to you throughout the hour, it's been become clear that you there's nothing... But, backing but, it up. But, There's no information. But you're has absolutely no examples. You're saying, hey, listen, you're a phony. Period. The end. You have to have something because behind Because you, you're saying that Eric is the lowest person when he's the top he person. Is, literally. In this, in this studio listen, right if now. Listen, if the Opie and Anthony show, yeah. if it ended today, if, that, if the last show was on today, the one person who I can guarantee you would have a job within you a week in this industry. Careers, and there's more to a person than careers. I keep on trying to push this point. But Eric, there's more than being, hey, I'm Eric Nagel, check out my business card. I'm a producer. Do you understand the difference between Eric Nagel, the <laughs> but brand? But you say producer is something to be embarrassed of? No, absolutely not. Seems but you, like there's, very so much, there's so much more to Seems a person. Like it. What, well, are their hobbies? what are this their is... hobbies? What do they like to do? I, do? I was talking to Eric the other week. Hey, Eric, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to go and collect action figures at Comic-Con. I never There's... said that. <laughs> really? In fact, wait, wait, wait. we Even so. one day after the event. I should have seen you there. Fez goes to Comic-Con. <laughs> do you think Fez is less of a person? Well, we haven't asked him what he thinks of Fez. Be honest. And be honest. For once in your life, be honest. For once in my life. Um... I think Fez is conflicted. He hasn't decided. He hasn't decided whether he wants to move forward or backwards. He's dancing, and he, he can either fix his problems or he can't. But he has to first decide that he wants to. And Fez can decide I'm going to conquer this, or he can he can push it. But again, and Sam's pointed this up is that I don't have every single answer. And you're coming to me like a muse. You can ask me my opinion, but everything I have to say is only hearsay. I can only give you my opinion. And why I mentioned that I was scared to be Iraq is because I, I feel that's not who I want to be. But just because you heard Dave fucking slagging Iraq behind his back, <laughs> and yes, you did, he constantly. He fucking he didn't heard catch you say me. He didn't catch he me. He's say lying to you guys. A guy fucking comes in on his day off 
fucking help yeah. you. He didn't and say And you slag him to the intern. It didn't happen, though. That's the funny thing. And actually, Did it happen, Scotty? He's crossing his hands under his armpits. And what's that, that mean? That's, tell. That's, that's, that's a, a, that's a, that's a tell. <laughs> that's a tell. He's a liar. Oh. I didn't. Mary You're Catherine being Gallagher. Gallagher. Didn't, He's reading you. His, I did his not face is a little it. redder than normal. I didn't. Scotty, th now my lack of communication and the how Scotty needs to approve on that isn't such a crazy remark, is it? Um, I just communicated. You're Everything terrible. that you said. You're terrible at communicating because as you're speaking, you're coming up with more lies in your head. That's why your comments are ringing to be shallow. It's because you can't, you're not thinking of what you're saying. You're thinking of the next fabrication. Sorry, hmm. you've been caught by Davy Mac McDonald. <laughs> did you or did you not say something bad about it? On okay. my children, my God, my Jesus, my mother and father, my three brothers, two of their wives, because the other one has some problems in California. Do your children believe in Jesus? Wow. What the fuck? Who are you? Well, are they, are they being Who raised as Jewish Scotty? or, or, Who are or you, Catholic? Scotty, really? <laughs> This guy is fucking Mr. Ripley. He's Matt Damon in the fucking movie. He has... You are nothing. You are All not right. a person. I thought you meant this to believe is, it or not. No. Is, All right, l let me just uh, take a little time here to play uh, Guess the Twitter, because you uh, wanted to come back with uh, how you're being perceived out there in the world, okay? Who's this? Who is this... Who the fuck is this piece of shit trashing E-Rock on, on Ron and Fez? You stupid motherfucker. Try to guess that Twitter. Franklin? Nope. That was Opie. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, again, it's a very, this is your first time really with any extended time to talk on the radio. Yeah. Um, I'll give you this. You're getting known quick. You are yeah, getting known evil. fast. Uh, does that surprise you or do you think that Opie goes, because I bust E-Rock, on my show, it's okay for everybody. No, I want everybody to. No, this is my this is my opinion. I'm not trying to gain brownie points. It's just, I you, you can't, everybody you can't trump yourself up and say I have the job and just put every every chip in that basket. You have to have so much more. There's lots of guys with great jobs that can't find any type of happiness. But he, e rock has got happiness. What more can E-Rock have? Yeah, how am I miserable? He used to sit at home listening to the Opie and Anthony show at a miserable job in radio with a crazy woman by his side thinking, now that's a life I'd like to have. So he found Opie and said, I know you don't have a show anymore, but can I have a job when you do? He got a job. He has a wonderful apartment. He's got a fiance. They're both making money in a <laughs> terrible economy. And well, she's you gorgeous. Know this, segment, this segment started as Scott... What are you scared to end up as? And I thought very quickly on who around who around me am I scared to turn out like? And that's the question. It's not in terms of whether Iraq has happiness. I'm sure he does. Everybody goes for it. But in terms of what you I were see, saying I, wasn't. I wouldn't want to be that. That's something that is I'm deathly afraid of. What I just described of of how he goes goes around here. You can. He's very. He knows you can write a novel, here. No, Sam, but he, he's looking at, at, at looking at it as a physical aspect because, and translating it as a personal aspect. Is it because he wore a peanut butter hat on the air? <laughs> Do you understand that a whole world exists oh, outside of the radio show? Oh, we're plugging Vestos now. Um, Whoa. Whoa. Jesus Whoa. Christ. Now, that'll be on this week. You're taking <laughs> on all day with that comment, by the way. It's what, day is, what day is peanut butter hat? Gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> this is a great show. Sky... You are really talking out uh, with both sides of your mouth. You really are. Well, what should you only talk out one, one. side? Hello. Hi. <laughs> He's um, not a sidewinder. It, 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 everything he was talking about himself wanting, Sam pointed out that E Rock has. And so now you somehow magically say, but he's still a piece of shit. It doesn't make sense now. You, all your fucking superficial shit Because you guys are keep on saying down. And, and making radio into this, this giant glamorous well, entity. asshole, you're on the radio <laughs> and you yes. said it. I and fucking that's what I'm saying. About that's, my pain that's, how solid, to... that's how solid this entity is. That somebody can just walk in, coming as intern, and saying, I don't want to be fucking that guy. Okay, that's how glamorous your position is. Going on. Ron and Fez should have went to a break. <laughs> I, I forgot, Ronnie B, I make it out so glamorous. I wear, uh, I, I show up to a limo. Uh, in a limo to work every well, day. What, I mean, does, what are you saying? I, I've never... Because your your defense is, hey, look at where he is. I have, He's a producer. What does E-Rock you, have? You, you're doing an internship in radio. If yeah, you and think I'm a it's... film student. I have no idea what I want to do. But right, E-Rock does, but... and he's got it. Yes, and do you know how many people who get film fucking degrees that never make fucking films? Most. Most. 
95% of them but does that mean I don't mean shit. But you guys, you can crush... It, it feels like you're trying to crush my hopes. And no, it's kind of mixed. We don't even know what your hopes are. You came you in and said what he's, done with, your mouth. what he's done with his life is fucking shit. It's almost like you shouldn't try. 